Hey guys, just been here, so I just had a little nap in the car actually. It's about an hour to get here. Um, but now we're finally gonna try some of that uh, Tahu tech. Hi guys, jadi kita lagi di tahu telur. Ini teman saya Dave. Hi Dave. Saya udah pernah cobain tahu tek. Tek mana apa tek tu? Tek dumba lah. Makan. Makan. Right, so I'm about to try my first ever tahu tek. Spicy one. And I'm going the very, very spicy version. Oh no. As you can see, it's got potato in it. Um, there's tofu, there's egg. Um, these sprouts, as I was saying, give a whole lot of texture to the dish. And they're quite nice, they explode in your mouth. And then they're covered with all this cook cook. It's actually quite a nice dish. And this is meant to be the spicy version, so for this, I actually don't think it's that hot. Okay, so I've been told that the sambal in here is sambal patis. Now it's meant to be um, based on trussy, but as I was saying, it's actually still quite sweet. Um, so I'm really enjoying the dish. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to be doing my own twist on it. I actually think I'll be serving this one up uh, as a breakfast dish. All right, so I've woken up this morning. I felt really inspired by the Tahu Tech that I had last night. Now I'm actually gonna turn this dish, this Indonesian classic into a breakfast dish this morning. So Tahu Tech usually has potatoes in it. What we're actually gonna do is the basis for our dish today is actually gonna be a hash brown. So what I've got here is some potato that I've already grated. I'm just gonna grate a little bit more. Now you don't need to uh, pre-cook it or anything like that. You actually need it to be raw. Okay, so we've grated all our potatoes. What we need to do now is just in a bowl, place a towel. Because what we want to do is we actually want to squeeze out all that extra, uh, excess moisture in the potatoes. Now, if you skip this process, what you'll actually be left with um, is a hash brown that isn't very crispy at all. And you'll see the amount of liquid that actually comes out. Okay, so we squeeze out all the excess moisture, and then when you open up the tea towel, what you'll see is you're just left with the pulp. And the next thing we're gonna do is add some diced onions. Take our onion. Now we only need half of it. And what we want is to just thinly dice this. So we're just gonna add our finely diced onions into our hash brown mix. Now the next thing we wanna do is take one egg, also add that to the mixture. And the last thing we wanna do is just add a little bit of flour, just to help bind this all together. Cool. So we've got our mixture here. What we're gonna do now is just take some of it and you can really mold whatever shape you like. 
but the thinner the layer, the more crispy the hash brown. I think we'll make one more. Right, there we go. Right, now what we're gonna do now is cook our hash brown. So we just need a little bit of oil on our hot plate. And from there, we'll take a spatula and place down our hash browns. Put in our second Hash brown. Here we go. Okay, so we just need to multitask a little bit now. So what we're gonna do is take three eggs. And we're just gonna crack them into a bowl. Last one. Okay, so our hash browns are just cooking away. Next thing you wanna do, just whisk up these eggs. Now I'm just gonna make some scrambled eggs which are actually gonna sit on top of the hash brown. But if you wanna make your eggs just a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more indulgent, you can always add milk and cream as well. Alright, so now we're just going to add a good amount of butter just to the frying pan. So while the butter is melting, I think we'll just quickly check on our hash browns. As you can see, they're starting to get some really, really nice colour on it at the moment. So most of that butter is now dissipated and melted. What we're going to do now, just add in the egg. Now I like really, really fluffy eggs. I don't like the crispiness. I don't think it's needed in this dish because we already have a crispy hash brown. So for me, it's really important that we just keep moving this egg around so it stays really fluffy, and really light. Okay, I'm just going to take these eggs off the heat now. They look silky. They look really delicious. So we'll let that sit. Now what we're going to do now is take some of that tofu and we're just going to trim it down to size. I just want some really thin slices. We'll add a little bit more oil to our hot plate. And we're just going to fry off the tofu. So what I've got here is some sambal patis. Now this is something I made a little bit earlier. So it basically consists of um, trussy, some ketchup manis, uh, the salt, also um, a little bit of water, water and garlic. Now I'm just going to put a really nice generous smear on the board. It's also going to help the hash brown stick to the board as well. Next thing we want to do, remove our hash brown. Just place it on there. It looks so crispy, you can actually hear it. From there we're going to take a little bit of our egg. So now we'll just take our tofu that we've had it frying away and place that on. There we are. Now we're going to top it with some of that beautiful silky scrambled egg. All 
right now it wouldn't be Tapu Tech without some sprouts on top. So I'll take a small amount of the sprouts, place that on our scrambled egg. Again, it's gonna add some real beautiful texture when you bite into this. And then we'll just finish off with some garnish. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my version of Tahu Tech. Okay, so now it's my favorite time to taste. It does taste very similar to the original. There's a lot of beautiful textures going on in that hash brown. Apart from that, you've also got your fried tofu, which adds a little bit more crispiness. You've got the sprouts that pop in your mouth and they're really, really delicious. And then those silky smooth eggs and then the sambal just tops it off. It really is an awesome breakfast. Guys, make sure that you also subscribe below um, and follow at Oxone online. And also follow myself, Ben underscore Unlimited. And stay tuned for the next episode. Oxon, be a chef for your home.